What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lex Up Next, and I'm back with another video. If you're a return subscriber, what's popping? If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be telling y'all four main tips to grow your hair waist length. Like, and you know I had to come on video with my hair out. It's not even flattering. It's just uh, blown out. Of course, if it was flattering, it will be probably even, you know, straighter and longer. But yes, we talking waist length. I need to trim my ends, but y'all get the point. So, this video, I'm going to tell y'all the four main tips that help me grow my hair waist length because everybody is always asking me, like, how did you get your hair that long? How did you get your hair that thick? Um, What did you do? What did you use? Like, if I post a video of my hair, my natural hair, or anything like that, people will DM me out of nowhere, like, how did you grow your hair that long? What did you do? What did you use? So, I know this video is a long-awaited video because y'all been asking for the longest and I haven't. I mean, I told some people that DM me when they asked, like, what did you use? What did you do? But some people, I was just like, you know what? Just wait. I'm going to give y'all a video, a YouTube video, and and then um, I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I used and what I, what I did. Me, personally, I think these four things is going to grow your hair, like... Um, you know how some people be like, everybody is different. It, 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 now it'll be different if you have like a hair grow, you know, um, a medical problem where you can't grow your hair, then that'll be different. But like in general and for the main part, like these four tips will help you grow your hair. So you need to make sure you follow these tips and, um, you should see progress in your hair, in your hair growth. So, we're going to hop right into the first thing. So, first things first, make sure y'all trim y'all ends. I know a lot of y'all be wanting to hold on to them scraggly dead ends. Like I said, I need to trim mine because mine is a little scraggly and dead. But, yeah, y'all need to make sure y'all trim y'all ends. Like, when I was, um, when my hair was way shorter, even when it was shorter, I was trimming my own ends. Like, I just, I don't have a problem with trimming my ends some people they just want that little extra one inch to say they got length or anything like that no y'all need to make sure y'all trim your ends because if your ends are not trimmed like it can start splitting even higher and that will cause breakage like when your ends not trimmed that cause breakage so you want to try and keep them trimmed so it won't do that when uh when you trim your, trim your ends your hair starts to grow and grow and um, it's not breaking off as it grows, if you get what I'm saying. So, you need to make sure you trim your ends at least once a month. That's what I was doing. I would literally split my hair, even if it didn't come out even or, you know, if you can't get to nobody that can trim your ends, you still got to trim them. So, make sure y'all do what y'all got to do. So, you just grab your hair. I come like this and I just chop them, chop the ends right off. And I don't be really caring for real, so I chop. I try, but if you do care you know go get somebody to do it like a professional to trim your ends but you need to make sure they stay trimmed because you don't want it to just start shriveling up and breaking off from the bottom then everything that grows it ain't gonna be no point because it keep breaking off so make sure y'all trim y'all ends that's number one okay on to number two number two is low manipulation so I try and tell people this all the time like you can't do too much to your hair and expect it to grow um so as i was growing my hair for the longest i like i've been in wigs weave braids um i barely flat iron my real hair a lot of people be like why you don't flat iron your real hair why you don't wear your real hair because a lot of tension on your real hair will cause it to break off at least our type of hair you know 4b 4c really black people hair period it'll cause it'll cause it to break off doing too much to it you keep dying it you keep getting it slick back in these tight ponytails you keep um like okay say for instance i when i get my wigs or i get i used to get sew-ins too back then so whenever you get a sew-in or you get a wig your hair is braided up under there so you're not doing too much to your natural hair. It's just braided. That's it. Like you don't, you're not flat ironing it. Flat ironing your hair a lot can cause it to break off and not grow. And when I say not grow, your hair is constantly growing. But because it's breaking off, you're not going to see that growth. So you don't need to be flat ironing it. Putting a lot of dye, bleach, all that. No, 
I never bleached my hair ever and I um I just recently started using dye in my hair and the only color I use is jet black um I used to use rinse back in the day like you know when everybody was doing the um like the aquamarines and the reds and I would use a rinse that's not permanent but now I'm kind of getting into dyes only because I like my hair jet black and I just want it to be that permanently but I don't bleach my hair I mean I don't um dye it often um I don't bleach my hair because no I've seen like I've seen people lose their hair from bleaching it and I just could never get with it like I couldn't understand why people would do that knowing they to make their hair fall out or you know you gotta have the right care if you get it bleached so if i'm not going to the salon i would not do it my, myself like i just wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it at all period bleaching mm -mm. And i was thinking about doing like a, a zebra stripe bleach but that's literally like this much of your hair i mean not zebra stripe uh skunk skunk stripe whatever you call it i was thinking about doing that but that's literally this much of your hair and that's the amount I would have to take care of and I believe I could do it but I don't know if I was really gonna do it it was just a thought but bleaching your whole head bleaching the ends all it no nah. no y'all would never see me do that because like I didn't came a long way but it's easy for me to grow my hair like it's just easy it come easy because I don't do much to my hair so low manipulation don't be out here flat ironing your hair washing your hair every week Washing your hair every week will dry out, strip it out, break it off. Don't do that. You don't need to wash your hair every week if you're doing low manipulation styles. So if you're having your braids or you're having your, your braids under your wig, you don't have to wash your hair every week. Like Sometimes I'll be hearing people say that dirt grow hair, but I don't know how true that is. But I know low manipulation grows hair. So make sure y'all not out here just doing too much with your hair the most that i do in my hair that kind of is stress it stresses probably it does stress my hair is um i perm my edges i know the natural community probably like oh yes i perm my edges because no i'm not finna mm -mm. when i wear my wigs i need i need uh indian brazilian you know the wig gonna be brazilian the edges gonna match okay i don't need yeah i don't yeah I just be needing my and then the way I have my um edges you know how you lay your edges or you flat on you flat iron them and you curl them or you put edge control on them I don't need them curling up I just don't because it just don't look right when you have straight weave and then your curly edges if you get what I'm saying so I perm my edges yep and that may be my reason my edges are not as long as my, my the rest of my hair and plus wearing um wigs where they have the you know frontals when i was growing my hair out too i didn't i didn't they didn't really have frontals you know i just started wearing frontals over the last few years or whatever but um yeah uh you could do closures you could do um leave out and you could do braids as long as the braids is not just super tight you know how um you go to the shop and they do them super tight where you can't even move your head around because that tension can really cause breakage and you need to know what type of hair you have too because if you have thin hair the tension that i can take on my hair may not be the tension that you can take on yours so you need to make sure you know what type of hair you have um that's why i kind of named the video um tips to grow 4b 4c hair because this is my experience and what i experienced with my type of hair so um but it's kind of in general the same rule of thumb just know your hair type and know what your hair can take um what else can i say about low manipulation um so yeah ponytails heat dye all of that just you need to if you really want to grow your hair you got to stop it you got to stop if you want to grow your hair and you the type that say um i don't wear weave i don't wear wigs i don't do, i'm telling you that will grow your hair if you're really trying to grow your hair you need to throw on a wig throw on something keep your hair braided up under there and don't be flat on your hair all the time and washing it all the time because no that's not good for your hair um number three and the last the last number four is going to be the product that i use in my hair that um that really helped me or whatever so yeah um number three though number three 
is uh patience you gotta have patience like you can't expect your hair to grow down your back in three months like you gotta have patience and with having patience and having in your um protective style it's easier to have patience if you get what i'm saying so if you got your braids and your wig a wig can last you what a month and a half if you take care of it depending on what type of wig weave install you have it can last you up to a month and a half so be prepared when you take that wig off um you you're gonna have some type of growth but to get like a length like this you do gotta have patience you do gotta um you know just just have patience you gotta have patience it's gonna take a little bit of time but once you get there you're gonna be happy with the results so um how long have i been growing i've been growing my hair all my life for real like well i'm not gonna say all my life because i was getting perms up until i don't know when did i stop getting perms i feel like up until high school like I was getting perms for a long time and um then i eventually wanted to go natural because i was just over the perms i wanted my natural hair my natural curl like you know the poof the puff ball you can't do that with, with a perm so and then i know perms they're not good for your hair especially when you don't take care of them take care of it good now i've seen some people where they claim that permanent hair and yeah but no so you want to just um yeah have patience like i said i've been growing my hair for some years now it's been years like to get to the length that it is um and just wear your protective styles that's that'll make them that time go by faster because you don't have to worry about trying to figure out what you're gonna do like to your natural hair flat earning and all of that extra stuff so have patience okay and the last thing that that's been helping me grow my hair through my journey that i tell everybody while doing number one the trims while doing the number two the low manipulation and having patience number four is wild growth oil yes you heard it here first people wild growth oil let me show y'all what it looks like this is the one that i've been using for years okay there you go y'all can see it this is the one I've been using for years with the red top. And it's about, what, $8, $7 at any your local beauty supply store. Wow, growth oil. Like, that was the main thing I was using on my hair. Like, that was it. Oh, and you can, you can switch between wild growth and Jamaican black castor oil. But this is the main one that I, I was using on my hair. And it makes my hair grow. Um, So when you have your wigs or your weave um depending on what kind of install you have so say if you do got a um a sew-in you know you can get through the tracks and you can while you got that sew-in in be oiling your scalp now this does have a, a potent smell like it does have a weird smell but i usually do it at night so i don't have to worry about like putting it in my hair and then going out and people smelling it usually by the morning time it's the smell has subsided sub, subsided and it's good to go and you don't really smell it the next day even before i put like my actual wigs that be glued down um now like like i was saying the glue the manipulation part the low manipulation frontals is kind of stressful on your edges if you wear them a lot but um back to what i was saying so when you put your bra when you braid your hair down under your wig put the put the wild growth oil on there before you put the wig on before you glue it down you know uh frontals barely last that long anyway so in the next two weeks you probably gonna have to be getting it redone put that wild growth like even between my wigs sometimes i don't even take my braids down and rebraid it only because it's so much hair like who about to keep braiding this up <clears throat> not me not me so i keep my braids in for like two installs like or if you bow you can do three i don't know if my my hair start matting up under there but or smelling like you don't want your hair to just smell funky like if your hair is smelling funky or something then yeah you need to take them braids down wash your hair and do all that good stuff but um yeah you need to make sure you keep it oil keep your wild growth oil on your scalp because that's what's gonna help it grow i've been telling people to use that i done had people come back to me saying it really did work um it's all type of stuff in here oils of coconut olive oil jojoba oil 
jojoba oil, rice bran, cocoa butter, acerolo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Pomegranate, rose, hip, and pumpkin seed extracts, some mushroom, chickpea, lint. Like, it's a whole bunch of natural good stuff in there. So, that really is what's going to help your hair grow. And if you feeling, like, when you put it in there, you know, just just massage it on your scalp a little bit you got your braids in just rub it in make sure you just rub it really good so it get all on your scalp that oil right there is what grew my hair out long and strong long and strong now the thickness of my hair um my hair kind of always been thick because i do have 4b 4c hair so i can't really speak on if this this oil made my hair thicker but I know it made my hair grow. Like, it promotes growth in your hair. So, I would suggest that everybody go get you a bottle of this. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave a link down below so y'all can go purchase y'all a bottle right here. Go ahead and do that ASAP. I'm telling you, try out what I'm telling you. And I promise you, your hair is going to grow. Like, I promise you. You just got to have patience. Use this oil and no, I mean, and low manipulation on your hair. So, go ahead and get you a wig, a weave, an install, some braids. Even with the braids, when you have your braids, you need to be oiling them every night. Putting that uh, wild growth oil on your braids. And when I tell you, when you take them braids out, your hair has to at least been grown like an inch. I'm going to give y'all a view of what my hair looked like, the length and everything. So, y'all can get, y'all can actually see... okay so this is all me coming from the scalp and y'all i burnt my hair perming my edges i told y'all you perm my edges i burnt it i decided not to put some oil on there i meant vaseline before i did the perm and i should have put the vaseline on there so okay i'm about to stand up don't mind what i'm looking like but y'all see hair here my stomach and I, I need to work out but um yeah so this is where it's at right now and then in the back oh. uh, it's right here so yeah this is what you look like I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope I can help people that been asking me um, how I grew my hair. Go down to my description box and hit the link and you can purchase it right there through Amazon. Boom. Okay. You see that? And an extra tip that I can leave y'all with. Um. If you have 4B, 4C hair and you have a hard time detangling it and, uh, you know, washing and detangling it. Because with my length of hair and how thick it is, it gets really hard to do all of that. But, um, you need one of these brushes. You need one of these type of brushes because it makes detangling way easier than if you had, um, like a paddle brush or something like that. And I use it in the t like when I'm washing my hair and I'm detangling, I use this. And when I'm blow drying it, I use this comb or brush, whatever you want to call it. But you need one of these. So I'm going to leave a link to this down below in my uh, description box too. You can get this and the, um, the wild growth oil. And you should be well on your way to long hair. So... I'm glad y'all stopped in on this video and make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, like this video and yeah. So I think that's the end of this video and I'm going to see y'all in my next video.